Houston has hired Willie Fritz away from Tulane to be its next head football coach. Not only do I give this hire an A, I give this hire an A plus, plus, plus as many pluses as humanly possible. It is almost criminal that it has taken Willie Fritz this long, 63-year-old Willie Fritz, to find a college football head coaching job in the Power Five. This is a dude who has some serious, serious Texas ties. Willis High School, Sam Houston State. He was at Blinn College. The guy knows Texas, which is going to be a massive boost in recruiting. And when I tell you he wins, the dude just wins. His overall head coaching record, 247 and 121. Every stop he makes, he gets it done. Two junior college national championships, a couple of Southland Trophy championships. He's won the Sun Belt. He's won the AAC. That is just what... The beauty of this, the beauty of Willie Fritz is that at any level, at any level, he just wins with whatever's in front of him. Whatever is, hey, you have to play these teams. All right, he's going to go win. Four and one in bowl games. Seven and three in playoff appearances at the FCS level. Most of that, all of that coming with Sam Houston State. I'm good buddies with Brian Bell, who is his quarterback at Sam Houston State, who he took to back-to-back national championships at the FCS level, played North Dakota State in both of them. We don't have to talk about the results of those games. But he took it, a Sam Houston program that nobody in the, in the state of Texas was looking at saying, oh, everybody wants to go play for Sam Houston State. That's the team to beat in Texas in the FCS, FCS ranks. He went to Tulane. Might I remind you how we viewed Tulane football prior to Willie Fritz getting there? And I'm not, he might not go to a bowl game in his first year. He might not go to a bowl game in his first year at Houston. Four and eight in year one at Tulane, five and seven in year two. They trusted the process and won the AAC West in year three. Seven and six, seven and six, six and six, two and ten. Again, they trust the process. He goes from two and ten to twelve and two, then eleven and two, and and again, level-headed winner. This isn't a failed experiment. It's not a oh yeah, we hired a Brady Hoke, which was never a a thing. But it wasn't oh yeah, we made a hire of a guy who you kind of knew back then, and uh, he's still alive. No. Oh, yeah, we hired Jerry Kill. And Jerry Kill's won some and he's lost some. Uh, No. Oh, yeah, we hired Gary Patterson, who actually got fired from his last job because he wasn't winning enough. No. Which I think that some of those would have been pretty good hires. This is much better than Cliff Kingsbury. This is much better than, than Gary Patterson. Because this guy doesn't get fired. He just moves up and up. And up, and if he gives Houston five years, seven years, I, I would have said a lot of similar things about Jeff Trailer. I do like this hire better than Jeff Trailer because Willie Fritz has won a New Year's Six Bowl. Not only has he coached in college successfully in Division One college football at the FBS level, but he has won at the very top. He has won a New Year's Six Bowl. Jeff Trailer has not done that. Do I think Trailer would win at Houston? Yes. Do I think Jeff Trailer would win at Baylor? Yes. Do I think he would win anywhere in Texas for sure? Willie Fritz will do the exact same, but he's proven it to you at the level of going twelve and two last season. Winning the Cotton Bowl at the level of going eleven and two this season, going toe to toe, he was a, a top ten finish last year. Went toe to toe this year with Ole Miss and Lane Kiffin. And brother, how do you recruit to Tulane? I was I, I spent this last summer in the Alaska Baseball League doing broadcast. We had a player who went to Tulane. He had to leave. He had to leave Alaska. Had to leave the league because his homework was so rigorous. Because his academics were so rigorous at Tulane. They are strict about that stuff. It it is tough to recruit a world-class athlete to go put up with that. There's a reason the Ivy League schools aren't competing for national championships like they were in the 1920s cuz now the academics have gotten so strenuous that people would much rather go to a state school, a big state school and do something else. For for Tulane, same deal. They're the Ivy League, one of the Ivy League schools of the South. And he got players, he got recruits there to New Orleans where you're not the biggest show in town, and he won. And now coming to Houston, he is going to win. He is going to crack into the recruiting rankings. I could not love this hire. I wish, as someone who went to Baylor, I wish Baylor would have made a change with the knowledge that Willie Fritz was ready to move on. 
Last year, he didn't move up. He waited to this season. He's going to Houston, and Houston's a tough place to win. The reason why, if you Google Houston football, it's like the eighth thing that comes up. There are so many bigger shows in town in Houston, and there are so many great players in that area, but I'll tell you one of the things that's going to hurt you with that, there's a reason there's not really a powerhouse consistent program in Dallas. There are so many athletes who leave. They want to go an hour down the road, an hour and a half down the road. What if I played in Waco? What if I played in Austin? What if I played somewhere else? They don't like to stay home. A lot, of, a lot of kids don't like to stay home for college. Shocking, huh? Willie Fritz is going to be able to flip that script. He's going to be able to change that. And Houston's a place a lot of guys have won. Where guys like Kevin Sumlin have been pried away. Tom Herman have been pried away because they won so much at Houston. But Willie Fritz is going to be the same way. The thing is, at 63, though, this is it. I think this is his job. For the next seven, maybe 10 years, Willie Fritz is a Houston Cougar. And it's, a, it's awesome. If I'm the rest of the league, I look at that and go, shoot, I have to coach against Willie Fritz. That's not good. I'm pumped. And if he goes three and nine, four and eight next year, don't give up. If he goes five and seven, six and six the year after, don't give up. Give it three years and the Willie Fritz experience is going to be stupid fun. This has been and always will be. Dude, I got so much content planned for you this week. You don't even understand the amount of content I have planned for you this week. Oh, I feel it. Locked on. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Dose Grande.